Hey folks, it's Tony from the Technology Firm. Today I'm going to set up a new router for the client that I'm doing that uh, new network for. And it's Ubiquity. So I know there's a lot of Cisco, Juniper, whatever types of people who like to read my stuff. Well, this will be something a little different for you. So it's always good to learn new stuff. I'm going to show you how to set it up. Just a real basic setup. I'm going to do what I do best. I'm not going to read the manual. <laughs> I'm just simply going to plug it in and I'm going to follow the prompts and I want to show you what it looks like. All right. So enjoy. Before we get working on this thing, let's have a little plan of attack. So here's a list of all the ports, VLANs and IP addresses that we're going to configure. Not going to bore you with these, just your typical screens when you set stuff up, update schedule and config. This is kind of neat. It does a speed test when it's done, and then you're going to get the good old HTTP message here. The connection's not private. Just hit advance. Go like you normally go. And now it's going to do some updates and all sorts of cool stuff in the background for you. It can take up to five minutes, so just be patient. So once you log in, you see this pretty cool looking dashboard. So let's start configuring stuff. So from this screen, we just click on the network and we start editing our DHCP information. All right, I'm going to pause for a bit. This is an important screen. This is where you can disable your DHCP server and you can actually set your DHCP range. The last thing is DHCP guarding. So if you don't want any rogue DHCP servers on there, you can put that in there as well. Since we just made a change, I'm a big fan of test, test, test. I released and renewed my IP address and all looks good. So let's set up our next network. This is going to have a different IP address, as you can see here. I'm not going to exclude anything with this example. And I'm also going to set up a VLAN ID of 100, which is going to be used a little bit later. So for the people new to Ubiquity, this is actually kind of cool. Every VLAN is called a profile. So you just go to the port, pick your profile, be it guest or AV or whatever it is, and bang, your VLANs are done. After I'm done assigning my VLANs, I can go check my port configurations in this screen. And you'll see right there under profile, you've got all, I've got guest, and I've got my AV IoT. Now test, test, test. I plug my laptop into both ports, I release and renew, and I make sure I get an IP and a different subnet. There you go, folks. Three minutes. Three minutes. Just under three minutes. And we've got the router uh, up and running. It probably took more for like four or five because there was a big delay while it was doing the upgrades and stuff. But that was pretty quick. It was pretty easy. And um, I don't know. I didn't find it painful at all. I didn't read the manual. I just kind of winged it. Uh, the next bunch of videos, we're going to be setting up VLANs on the Cisco switch to get along with the Ubiquity router. And we're also going to set up the uh, Ubiquity access points. So I uh, hope you join me. Hope that was fun. Hope that was short and concise, but helpful. Have a good day, folks. Bye for now.